<laughs> uh, trying to think of what time it is or where, where we are in the day. We're uh, not the end of the day, not the beginning of the day, but somewhere in between. Uh, I'm doing a half day today. I haven't fully started back yet. Uh, yesterday, Monday was supposed to be my uh, half day too, but didn't work out. I ended up sleeping most of the day. So uh, today is my first half day, even though I had scheduled. For Wednesday to be my first half day, so I'm supposed to still be, I'm supposed to be still in vacation mode, but I'm not. Um, I don't know. I just can't sort of sit if I'm awake. I can't sit around and do nothing. So <laughs> uh, I at least do a half day worth of work, and that's kind of the way things go. Anyways, uh, let's get into our talk. Ta uh, oh, uh, before we get into our talk abouts and shout outs. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 17 hours and 39 minutes into the day of Tuesday, November 4th, uh, 2014. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, the weeks seem to go by pretty quickly sometimes. You, you don't really seem to notice the week go by, but it does. And by the time you realize you forgot to do something, uh, sometimes it could be a week or more. So... Uh, let's go back to do something that I did before. Oh, sure, should have done before, but the thing is, it was actually before I was starting to do the shoutouts, or before I brought the shoutouts back into here again. Uh, on the 25th of October, I went by uh, one of the, the channels that go by on a regular basis. Uh, the channel's name is called Toy Tastic. I did that on the 25th, and now. Uh, as I said before, I'm a type of geek that never grows up, and I like, I, I used to like watching Family Channel, Nickelodeon, uh, Disney Channel, stuff like that. All the shows that are like that, they're primarily, primarily for kids, uh, and when I cut the cable, I was looking for a way to replace them, so I was looking for in interesting vloggers, interesting people on the internet, on, the, on YouTube. And I did. I found that. And they're mostly younger girls and stuff like that. They have what I would call comparable uh, content to Family Channel, Disney, and uh, Nickelodeon. Or Nick. Uh, and one of the channels that I went by was uh, called Toytastic. I said hello, put my thing, because a lot of times they have contests and so on and so forth. Uh, so I put my name in there. Didn't expect much of anything. And, uh... uh <laughs> On the 25th, I ended up getting a, sort of a mention that, that, that I had, you know, uh, participated in the contest. So that's, I found that was to be, to be interesting. I find uh, the, the, the work that they do, that particularly these girls here, uh, they're kind of interesting. It, it, what happens is, is that if you're looking particularly at the personality, the very different personalities present, can present the exact same thing in many ways, differently and from a different perspective. So you're seeing different perspectives of things. And it's interesting to see uh, what a, uh, a, a kid, let's put it this way, a kid, and I'm talking kid that's a uh, uh, class that goes every, every, everywhere from uh, 8 years old up to about 15, 16. Uh, it's interesting to see what, what a kid does with the camera on YouTube as compared, as compared to the presentation of kids and tweens in a lot of these sort of these shows on uh, Disney, Nick, or whatever. Uh, and it's completely different. The, the personalities of the individual kid comes out. And you have a, a wide variety of options and choices 
uh, to choose from in terms of uh, what you, in terms of what content you want and what you don't want to watch. And uh, so I found that uh, uh, in terms of the actual content, because I've gone back and started watching uh, some of the uh, the Disney and Nick shows again uh, from uh, at my parents' house because they they have they still have cable. And I realized that I, I like the uh, YouTube content better. I like the kids actually producing their own content much better than I like the Nick and Disney stuff. So I think uh, this just goes up to Toy Tastic and all the uh, channels up there run by uh, kids. Uh, and I, 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 actually, I consider myself a kid because if you're a nerd and you never grow up, then fun fundamentally you're still a kid. That's kind of the way it goes. Uh, they do a good job of this. They, they, I mean, not a good job. They do a better job than Disney and Nick. I know their content is better. I and like I like what and enjoy what they have better. So I'm here more often than not, and uh, this is my choice to sort of you know I'm happy with this choice uh, of YouTube as uh, one of my main uh, places for IPTV. So uh, that being said, I think that's about it for now. Uh, <laughs> I said not much has been done because I've been uh, just having a half day. I'm making uh, in the kitchen diner uh, on the pot right now because I'm doing a, a slow cook thing. Uh, it's chicken marcella. It smells amazing. Uh, I'm doing a slow cook. I like my. I, I like in many cases. I like a slow cook better than a fast cook uh, because the flavors come through in terms of uh, in terms of the the flavors towards the center of the meat. Sometimes you'll have uh, uh, an amazing din dish. The sauce is amazing, but the flavor of what you're trying to get, get across doesn't go through all the way through the meat. To properly flavor meat all the way through, you need to do a slow cook. And that's kind of what I'm doing. So it's uh, on the go now. It won't be finished until like 9 o'clock tonight, 9, 9.30 is when it's gonna finish so it, that will be my dinner <laughs> tonight it will be the uh, chicken and marcella I'm going to my parents house uh, actually about 15 minutes for what I call lunch they're having dinner I'm having lunch and uh, I'll have my fun there as well <laughs> I eat well all the time I don't it's, it's not uh, you know I, I don't starve I, with my kitchen diner I eat well all the time top-notch Anyways, I will uh, talk to you guys uh, maybe a little on, li li later on. We'll see what happens uh, if I can do some more filming. But, uh, yeah. All right. Take it easy. And goodbye. Well, it's time for another BTS vlog. <laughs> so, let's get our time and date stamp started. It is 17 hours and 39 minutes. Into the day, into the day of Thursday, November sixth, two thousand fourteen. I think I forgot to vlog yesterday, or or something happened that I didn't vlog. I really can't can't remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> I you know that, that that that's what I you know I'm supposed to be coming off uh, my sleep deprivation crash. I'm slow, slowly trying to add the schedule back in again. I did go food shopping yesterday, as so I do remember doing that. Uh, I haven't been taking you with me to go food shopping. I just I didn't haven't had the ability to sort of take the camera with me as I'm uh, going out and doing the food shopping. But uh, it's it's knocking it's still knocking me out. It's still making me very tired. Uh, that kind of is what's adding to the fatigue is the walking really taxes the body because I'm carrying a heavy load. I'm usually carrying between anywhere between 30 and 60 pounds on my back. So it does add to the stress of walking. Uh, it fatigues the body, but not necessarily in a bad way. It just means that I do have to get some extra sleep. But when I have a lot of work to do, when there's a lot of uh, uh, studying to be done and a research test, then um, uh, the sleep doesn't happen. And as I start backing up on my on my lack of sleep, then well, we end up with a sleep deprivation crash that sort of 
Well, <laughs> dribbles along. Because that's usually like, you know, I'm up for a bit, down for a bit, up for a bit, down for a bit, up for a bit, down for a bit. Then I get knocked out for a couple of days, and then I start back, work my way back up again. So I'm still on half days. I, I started my half days yesterday. I'm doing another half day today on, on, on Thursday. Um, that means I started at noon. I probably won't be going to bed before midnight. We'll see what happens. It, de it really depends on how I'm, uh, how fatigued I'm feeling. Uh, anyway, I was watching, uh, uh, and this was it, doing our shout outs and talk abouts in here. Uh, we're do and, and that's, see, this is why for me the, the YouTube stroll is important. Uh, there's a type of research in 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 uh, in my field, uh, which is that that I've kind of stumbled on. It's known as the random walk, and in this, in this case, it's a random walk in a library stack, where you you're look you're going down and into a library, you're going into any library research facility, and you walk through the stacks of books or whatever is there, books, videos, or uh, music, or whatever it is. And you randomly pick out things that seem to interest you, and so you, as you do that, you and you, you you pick it out, you take a look at it, you peruse it, and you take your notes if there's anything there to be uh, any notes to be taken, and usually you do find something that, that, that that's noteworthy. But every once in a while, you hit on something that's that's sort of really that, that, that can be expanded on. And this is what I say of going from ad hoc notes into more organized notes. Well, I just hit on something here I think would be good for I, the IMO vlog. And it's two videos uh, on the same subject called Goldie Blocks. It, one is from Bertelli and the other one is from Evan Tube Raw. Uh, and it's about this doll, this new doll that's coming out that's supposed to sort of bring the concept of engineering to girls. And what it does is it comes up with this old diatribe that girls are oppressed, that they're not given the opportunity to go into engineering, and that the engineering shouldn't be just simply a boy's world. Well, the problem is, is that if, if that's their view, and this is sort of the common view of engineering, then and this girl claims to be an engineer from Stanford University, then she clearly doesn't understand engineering. Because engineering is not a boy's world. It's a geek's world. The, 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 the difference, the divide between who is an engineer and beyond, because engineering is a subset of, si of a subset of physics, uh, determines whether or not you want to be a geek. And usually, got most guys, there are a lot, there, not only most guys, but guys on average, more, there are more guys on average who don't mind being geeks than there are girls. And it's the geek divide that really determines whether a person is going to be an engineer or not. Uh, and if you so, if you don't mind being a geek, you don't mind being labeled as a geek. You don't you don't mind not not having that so that that jock persona or the popular persona, then you're all right. But I think girls are more social. The social element of school, the social environment of school, is more important to girls than it is to guys. And it's not that it's not important to guys. Again, the majority of guys want to be popular. There's a minority of guys who want who end up wanting to be engineers who, who don't mind that geek divide. So it's not that a majority of guys are going into this, this oh this is a guy thing. It's not the case at all. It's a geek thing. But the thing is there are more geek guys than there are geek girls. And this is completely missed out in Goldie Blocks. The engineering that the, the, the quote unquote engineering this, this term engineering needs quotation because it's not really engineering in the goalie blocks. It is at the lowest level you could possibly imagine. They completely ignore the work done being done by girls in open source and open hardware. They completely ignore Maker Fair. They completely know, ignore all of the free resources that are on the internet. Uh, and so from my perspective, in terms of you know exposing girls to engineering, the goalie blocks doesn't do it, and it's expensive. It's actually co if you actually did engineering like we, well, the way you see on the internet, they're doing hardware hacking. Hardware hacking is cheaper, significantly cheaper than to get a goalie block set. And the thing is, if you want to expose girls to engineering, introduce them to hardware hacking. It's on the internet. There's so, there are a lot of resources that are free, and you pick the stuff out of the garbage. It's basically freakinism. You know, it's. it's uh, it, it, it's uh, recycling furniture, refurbishing furniture, 
Uh, and then going really? beyond that and refurbishing uh, your tools that you use to refurbish, like like a sander or or or, or uh, a screwdriver or a drill. If you want to get into the, this type of refurbishing or hardware hacking, this is all part. This is all part of engineering. But if you're if you don't introduce this to them, if you don't introduce introduce this to girls, you spend oh uh, you, you spend this time just simply doing commercial stuff. Then you haven't done anything more to introduce girls to engineering than what was previously done. So, and I think th in many ways it, it forms as a, a service as a disservice because it really doesn't introduce girls into, in, into engineering at all, and it gives them the false sense of what engineering really is. So, it could actually end up doing more damage than in actually doing good, because if you have a false sense of something, uh, when you see the real thing, you may not be prepared to say, "Okay, oh, I'm going to try this out." It, the real thing might turn you off to a certain to such a degree that. Because of your experience with the prior experience with the uh, the fake thing, <laughs> that you simply just don't move forward with it. Well, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, I've got more stuff to do uh, later on today. With some more, hopefully, some more filming, and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, take it easy. Bye bye. <laughs>
so we'll see what happens. Uh, Monday, I, I tend to sort of uh, try to work some of the editing into the schedule. We'll see what happens, see how things end up going on. I'm trying a new method to, uh, that will resolve, hopefully resolve some of the glitchiness that's uh, been plaguing these, these videos. So uh, that's what I'm trying to resolve. So that's where the, the, whole, the hold up on the uh, editing is. Anyways, uh, my eyes are starting to close. I can't keep them open, and uh, that means it's time for me to go to sleep. All right, so take it easy, and I will see you uh, sometime tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Uh, I intend to vlog tomorrow, but uh, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Alrighty, so that's about it for now. I'll see you then. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, the weekend started off pretty crappy. Uh, it wasn't that good. But it's ending on a positive note. <laughs> uh, give me a good time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 53 minutes into the day of Sunday, November 9th, 2014. And yes, we're doing our best to vlog every single day. Although we're not posting every single day, uh, we're getting uh, clearing up our backlog. Uh, what ended up happening last week is that there were some issues on the editing bay again. Uh, the network editing bay. And it looked like things were kind of uh, desperate on Friday, but... Uh, thank God through the weekend, uh, things seem to, uh, repair themselves, you know, with a little bit of extra work, get some extra sleep, uh, as I said, I'm going through another low again, uh, I don't think the low is as bad as it was last time, so, I'm getting some work done, uh, but that includes the, another, an addition, another addition to the editing bay, and as I said before, once that addition is done, one of the systems is going to come over to here to the left. It's going to come off the test bench and go over to the music studio. Uh, when the uh, new cabinetry, the uh, rack for the mixer, the mixer rack, uh, come when, it, when I'm finished working on it. Uh, it's, right now it's in pieces in the back warehouse. And I've got to refurbish it. It comes in all loose and uh, kind of broken and I gotta fix it up to where it's working the way it should work so uh, I think I'm gonna look at that on uh, Monday or Tuesday this tomorrow or the day after it really depends on how I'm feeling whether I move it into its uh, repair position or not right now it's still at the entry it hasn't been put in any place to be repaired uh, so I'll probably look at that uh, Again, Monday, Tuesday. So, you know, things are looking up. I ended up going to uh, a friend's engagement just to get out a little bit because uh, uh, I've been doing a lot of sleeping. But it's uh, sometimes you have to get out. If, you, if you're always at the research desk here, always doing your studying, you kind of lose your connection. You disconnect from uh, regular society and when you sit around with other people in society you have a hard time connecting or should I say reconnecting because uh, uh, it's not usual, not your usual thing so uh, <laughs> if you notice my nose is a little stuffed up I'm sorry. this came in it, it, doesn't ha it doesn't happen all day long some of the part of the day I'm stuffed up it will be like, be like this for it be two, three hours, and then disappear for another 12 hours. It won't be like this until for another 12 hours. And it comes back again. So what's going on? I think that there is a residual virus inside. The body is primarily fighting it, but there are periods of times when the body doesn't fight it. And it flares up, swamps the system, and then here we go. So, uh... So what's on schedule for the week is more rest. I'm gonna to try to catch up on uploading my vlogs. Uh, that's the whole purpose of the new one of the new systems on here is that it will speed up my um, uh, my uh, rendering time, the uh, time it takes for a video to uh, fix itself up in terms of getting it ready, and uh, then we'll go from there. Uh, 
So <laughs> we're going to see what happens. We're going to see how it ends up working out. And then uh, I'll know tomorrow whether or not things are working properly. I've got some issues with the new system. Uh, there are some issues that uh, I think I think maybe a bug with uh, Kubuntu uh, 14.4. This is the 64-bit version. Uh, I said I was going to stick with the 32-bit, but what's happening is that the 64-bit uh, for most new new laptops. Uh, it requires a 64 bit. You can't use a 32 bit anymore. So, I think that's going to push me up to the 64 bit. And uh, like did before, I'm going to have the bench uh, bench test this stuff. The stuff is going to have to be tested out, see how it fits into the regular the rest of the network, and then uh, sort of see uh, how I can sort of uh, tie the systems together. But this is the main last one that I'll be having as a regular laptop. The next systems that I'll be putting on there, the next segment of the network is going to be uh, called Headless. They're just going to be the uh, the processor, and I'm going to remotely log into that, set it up, and eventually cluster the network. So the network behaves as a cluster. So that's going to be uh, the next step. Anyways, I would like to say, uh, Kony Pula, congratulations to uh, Dimitri, that's Jim, and uh, Paniotto, that's my friends who got engaged. Uh, I wish them all the best, and uh, yeah. Uh, Alright, so I'll, I'll see you uh, the next BTS vlog. <laughs> Alright, take it easy. Bye-bye. Well, it is time for another segment of the BTS vlogs. Yeah, that's right. Time to sit back and have a little discussion. <laughs> well, not much. Of, it is going to be very little discussion. So let me give you the time uh, and date. It's uh, time and date stamp, should say. It is 22 hours and 49 minutes into the day of Monday, November 10th, 2014. And I'm vlogging more or less. Uh, I would say something at the, near the end of my day, but... Uh, uh, that's not even the case. Uh, it's not in the middle. It's not in the end. Uh, it's the situation where uh, I am still uh, sleeping a lot. So uh, <laughs> it's just a point in the day that I can vlog, that I th that I have enough energy to vlog. So at least I'm vlogging every day. So that's kind of the A for that. Uh, I was watching, uh, what I usually do is do my YouTube stroll uh, yesterday, last night. And it was yesterday was uh, Sunday, yeah, it was Sunday, and I come back from um, uh, what you call it from uh, an engagement party, and I watched. I think it was just last night, anyways, and I watched a uh, video on um, a channel called Just Like That. I think it was uh, Monica Shelby or no Monica Church. Uh, Monica and Shelby are the twins. Uh, the church twins, and they have uh, their own beauty channel, and they have a vlogging channel. And apparently, they've migrated over to a collab channel called Just Like That, and they put up their videos. And one of the videos that was put up was called uh, Five Hel Five Healthy Foods uh, You Didn't Know Were Unhealthy. And I'm, all, I'm 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 kind of amused by this whole health kick thing. I'm not. It's not for me. Not that I don't like eating healthy. I do. But the it, it's it's like uh, eating healthy is like every other fad. It's just that it's a fad. There's a lot of uh, trappings. There's a lot of uh, hype behind it. But when you're trying to go into it and try to see where the depth is, there's really not much there. Uh, to actually get into healthy eating, to get into healthy foods, uh, to see how you know we live a better life the way that grandparents did. Or at least my grandparents, anyways, who were from from the older villages, from the uh, uh, they lived the village lifestyle. You have to look at the village lifestyle. It's not simply the foods they ate. It's the it's the entire village lifestyle that sort of uh, brings you into a healthier state of uh, of being. And it, because it's not only about the body, but it's about the mind. It's, it's called the holistic approach. And what happens here is you don't have a holistic approach when you're having uh, with, with these with the vloggers. I find a lot of vloggers who tend to come out of these uh, rather wealthy communities have a complete disconnect 
from, um, I would say reality. The foods they buy are packaged, prepackaged from these high-end stores that are called organic. Uh, and ironically enough, these stores, uh, they're not satire. So it's, I guess it's kind of a uh, sad irony that a packaged goods store is called or, or in, in certified organic. And I was saying, I'm using the air quotes for organic because, you know, Organic means raw. It's, it, you have to cook it yourself. This stuff isn't raw. It's coming in pre-packaged. It's coming in pre-cooked. Uh, it's, it's the same processed garbage just using an organic label. And they say, well, they're trying five healthy foods that are five health foods that, are unhe five he uh, five, uh, health foods that you didn't, didn't know were unhealthy. Well, what did she choose? She chose all the foods that were supposedly health foods. They were all pre-processed, pre-packaged foods. So, of course, they're going to be unhealthy. This is what happens is that, you know, someone reads a label that's just healthy for you, and, oh, yeah, this is health food, right? So, someone's got, they've got a fancy label on that says organic. And, oh, yeah, organic. See, yeah, it's organic. It's good for you. Well, the thing is, is that not necessarily... Just because something is labeled organic doesn't necessarily mean that it's organic. Just because something is labeled healthy for you doesn't necessarily mean that it is. I mean, the healthiest foods for you are not going to come labeled. They're not going to come packaged. They're things that you have to cook and prepare yourself. They're not going to. That's you're buying the raw materials. You're buying a raw head of lettuce. You're buying, you know, uh, your meats that aren't pre-packaged and. And, and shrink wrapped, you know, <laughs> uh, it's not coming out of a box, you know, in the frozen food section. Uh, and th this is, sort of, you know, this is sort of my pet peeve. And you see, and this is particularly with girls who, you know, I don't blame them for wanting to eat healthy. It's not that I'm saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't be eating healthy. Is what happens is that the tendency they go off on to be healthier. Uh, they don't realize, in many ways, it's not actually healthy. They, they're just doing something. They're doing something different, but it's not. It's, it's not healthier than than what they were doing before. It's just different. That's all. So <laughs> uh, that's my sort of talk about. Well, that will, I'll I'll sort of leave the more the more nitty gritty details uh, on this until uh, for for. An IMO vlog. I say, let's put this into an IMO vlog. And, you know, healthy eating. And we'll, oh, we'll deal with it there. So, anyways, my eyes are starting to close. I'll watch maybe a few more videos and then I'll go to bed again. I will see you tomorrow for the next segment of the BTS vlog. And we'll continue plodding along. <laughs> All right. See you later. Bye bye. Democratic Earth. Earth.